testing can you hear me guys Hi, Kashri. Hi, Urmi. <laughs> Some problem with my network today. I won't be able to show two screens, so I'm just going to try uh, with one screen. Let's see how it goes. I hope that's OK. Can you hear my voice? Kashu, do you have colored paper? So for today's craft, uh, we need some colored paper. If you have some scissors and glue stick. If you don't have colored paper, go ahead and use white paper and tissue papers. And then probably using a sketch pen or uh, some other watercolors or poster colors, you can add the colors. Yes. So it's 4.45 now. I'm just going to wait till it's 5. And then uh, we'll start with the craft. Unlike every other day, I would not be able to show two screens. So <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll be able to still do it. Give me two minutes, OK? I'll be right back. We're going live at exactly 5 PM. I'm just waiting for it to be five. Getting a few things. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, see clearly and continue with our craft today. Just getting a few things ready. As soon as it's five, we will start. Just give me a thumbs up if you can see my face clearly, if you can hear my voice well. And I hope you can. What to do if I don't have tissues? OK, let me tell you what to do. I'll give you a few options, OK? If you don't have, then we'll figure out what can we do. Hmm? So do you have white papers? OK. 
if you have white papers then we are set to go do you have colored papers we can use this to make a card or you can use a white paper or you can use any other paper that you can color it later okay so we're going to make the card with an a4 size paper so if you don't have this then use an a4 size ordinary paper if you don't have an a4 size ordinary paper use your notebook paper practice to do this craft and once you have all the materials uh, from the shop you can make your own okay um do you have tissue paper rolls like this like a kitchen roll or um bathroom toilet roll if you have that or even a ordinary tissue paper if you have that that also can be used okay only thing is instead of having more color we will have uh, a little white looking card but then we can always add color later okay if you have okay let me show you this you know this birthday streamers if you have this we can use this also for crafting hi sundar we just waiting for it to be 5 o'clock 10 more minutes to go and then um, i'll show you what we'll do today keep letting me know that you can hear my voice and you can see my face clearly and in between because i cannot show you uh, my table no the crafts have not yet started i'm just ch ch chatting till it's 5 o'clock okay don't worry about it i will repeat everything once it's 5 o'clock hi sharya so what we need is colored paper for the craft some glue stick scissors tape If you don't have colored paper please get a white paper. If you don't have an A4 size white paper pick up one of your old notebooks which have which you have written or if it's a plain paper then you can use that. Uh pick up some sketch pens if you can. We don't need it but if you want you can have those uh or if you have ribbons like this birthday ribbons like these you can use those or if you have crepe papers anything that is colorful we can use that okay hi dhyani hi alpa shorya yeah. yes dhyani yes i will repeat all the things once it's 5 so now i'm just ch chatting because uh, we're waiting for it to be 5 we will go exactly we'll go we'll start the craft at 5 o'clock I will repeat it. Don't worry about it. I'm just going over the chat now. Hi Nehal. Oh, I'm really happy. So some of this that you can use that you have lying at home. If you have colored paper, perfect. If you don't have colored paper, go pick up some extra papers. Okay. When I move this, hmm. so pick up some extra white papers. If you have this birthday ribbons, pick up some birthday ribbons. If you have papers, pick up tissue papers. So if you have something colorful, the craft is going to turn out more colorful. But if you don't have, you don't have to worry right now. Okay? Make sure you have glue stick or some kind of glue and scissors. Yes, perfectly fine. So you, so today because Mother's Day is coming up soon, we're going to do some Mother's Day. crafts okay so i'm going to make a card so if you have a smaller paper it will turn into a smaller card okay not a problem at all any size paper is fine just that your card size will vary depending on what, what is your paper size 453 yes we'll wait for more people to join in right so whoever has joined in please give me a thumbs up say hi let me know where you're from uh, what all materials you've got i'll be repeating the material list hi purnima hi hi maya so i'll be repeating the multi uh, i'll be repeating the material list multiple times and uh, today 
I will be showing the craft like this and not on the table because we had some problem with the streaming, but we have a solution for everything. So no worries. Okay. I hope you're all excited. What are we going to make? It's a secret. Give me two minutes. I will tell you that more people join because the same question everybody will ask. Hi, Pramit. Oh, oh I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also really excited to be crafting with you all again. Hi, Aishi and Puranjay. I'm very excited to thank you so much. You guys are really the sweetest. Akshay Jananya, are wah, very nice. Welcome here. Hi, Ahana. So five more minutes to go, and then we'll start the session, okay? Let's start the craft. So let me quickly tell you what all materials you need so that you can run the house and pick up stuff. Okay, colored paper would be perfect. If you have colored paper in red, green, um, those would be perfect. We need a white sheet of paper. Okay, we definitely need some glow stick. We need, but if you have a tape, it will just help you hold it better. Okay, don't have color paper. Do you have white paper and crayons and colors? Get those. Yes, this is a live class. Four more minutes to go. Hi, Gia. Okay. We would. It would be nice if you have some colored paper. Do you have ribbons in the house, like crepe paper? If you have crepe paper, you can pick up. You know this birthday streamers that they put. If you have those lying around in the house, or if you have like this patang paper, any kind of paper that you have, we can put it to use today. If you don't have that. Just go to the kitchen, pick up a kitchen roll, or if you have uh, any kind of tissue roll, okay? A white soft tissue, colored soft tissue, yellow color soft tissue paper is also okay. Can you guys see me clearly? Oh, perfect. Get the crepe papers. Get the crepe papers. Hi, Satvik. Three more minutes to go, and we'll go, okay? Quickly, quickly, let me know all your names. If you have crepe papers, get your crepe papers. Tissue papers, get your tissue papers. If you have colors, get the colors. I will give you a couple of options. Today, what I'm going to make, I'm going to use colored paper. I'm going to use tissue paper or the crepe paper that I have lying around. And I will be using a little bit of sketch pens and white paper. So if you have those, please get them. Hi, Samiksha. Ribbons, perfect. Please get all your birthday ribbons, any colors. They are perfect for this craft. Hi, Charan. Tracing paper will be too thin, no? Tracing paper will also not hold. It's got an oil uh, coating on it. Tracing paper might not work. Get over Even your notebook paper is fine. We can color over it. Absolutely not a problem. Okay? Hi, Anvi and Arna. Ama. What's that? Arna. Oh, sorry. I forgot my specs. I don't know where I've kept them. Become old, you know. I can't read properly now. <laughs> Laptop is quite far away. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ishi. Color tissue paper. Perfect. Good job. Scrap paper. What is a scrap paper? Crap paper. This is a paper. This is a patang paper. These are thinner ones, you know, to make the patang. Right? You have colored paper, A4 sheets if you have. What else do I use? You can use these uh, birthday streamers. If I have colored the paper, yes, perfectly fine. Don't worry about it, OK? You do the crafts. You see how to do it. And do it with a white paper. And then when you get colored paper, recreate it. Or after this session, why don't you color the white paper, OK? 
or if you have colored the white paper before the session perfect one more minute to go hi akshay and anushka origami paper yes you can use origami paper but you for a card you need a bigger paper but for the smaller parts of the card you can use origami paper but yes i will at least one a4 size or some smaller size paper i hope you can still see me i'm having some network issues today okay i think we're back live <laughs> please please tell me in the chat if you cannot see clearly it's 5 o'clock and we are going to start everybody is ready okay so hi everybody if you've not met me before i'm shruti bhat i'm a craft blogger from bangalore i share a lot of fun art and craft ideas my blog artsy craftsy mom okay it looks ultra right now but yeah artsy craftsy mom.com so since mothers day is coming soon thought why not make a mothers day card so the kids can make the card for their mother for their grandmother and for any lady in their life who is as important as the mother yes so are we ready to start good job so let me show you what we are doing today because i cannot show you my a table like i always do let me just show you what we are making today and then, then i'll show you how we're going to make it today yep good job okay so we are going to make a mothers day card now you this is this says happy mothers day which looks ultra but yeah it's a simple card okay so for this what we need is right and then we need some colored paper some white paper some pattern paper and a pen to write your wish right you're ready shall we learn how to make this simple card can you all see this Showing ulta, no problem, right? Happy Mother's Day. So, when a handmade card is the best way to do it, right? So let's begin. Do you want to see once again? Okay. So for this craft, I'll keep this aside. So for this craft, what we need is any paper to make the card. So it needs to be a rectangle paper. So if you have this big paper, we make a bigger card when we fold it in half. right if you have a smaller paper it becomes a smaller card so don't worry about it right now we will scale it as we can okay so let's take our first paper i'm taking red color paper you can pick up any colored paper that you have if you have yellow colored paper if you have blue colored paper pick up any colored paper or you pick up a white paper if you have colored it before perfect otherwise you can go back and color it later so don't worry about it okay so let's begin so what we're doing we're going to turn this paper into a card so what does a card need two sides right so we fold it in half exactly make sure you have these edges so you get a card that opens like this everybody is done with this so what we are going to do is now we are going to craft on the front of it it's showing all reverse so don't worry about it let's do that hmm? like this let me show you like this okay so we are going to make our card for our mom this side so now that we have folded our card we'll keep it aside okay now if you see it here you have this card that's folded it has a white circle behind it it has a pot it has a message and it has some pretty pretty flowers here right not able to see now can you see yeah yes good so what we have done is we have folded a paper in half I picked up any colored paper. I've taken red. You can take any other color. I folded it in half. This is our card. So on the front of the card is what we are going to paste, right? So if you have, um, let's make the was first. So what I'm taking is um, hmm, any pattern paper. If you have any color paper, wrapping paper. If you have, or a magazine cover, or you can paint these designs on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut it into a pot shape. What's the easiest pot shape to make? If you want to make it circle, you can make it like a circle. If you want to make it like a long was, let's make a long was. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Any pattern paper, or you could take your white paper. Okay. Take your white paper. 
and then cut it if the kids are really young moms please help in this step uh, so that they can catch up and then the kids can take part and do all the sticking part of it so the cutting part will take a lot of time for younger kids so the elder ones can help or the parents can help what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one pattern paper or white paper you can use cutting out a rectangle okay cut out a rectangle any shape it's a little odd shape i'm going to fold this in half basically the other side so this is my front part of the card right which i'm going to turn into a pot so now what i'm going to do is i will i have folded it in half this is the back side this is the front side i've picked it up from an old wrapping paper okay so from this let me draw and show you i'm just going to make a vase okay so i've drawn this here can you see okay so it looks like a vase so i folded it in half and now i'm just going to cut out the shape it's like a flower pot so you can make a flower pot out of any colored paper if you have if you have pattern paper use pattern paper if you have white paper color okay we just go to for me let me cut it and show you okay we have made a pot see when you open it it becomes a nice flower pot yeah if you don't have gift paper please use a white paper then you can use a sketch pen to draw these colors and designs how you want it so we're going to make a pot now we want the pot to have slightly round edges okay so if you want you can do this otherwise you can leave this step okay so now does it look like a pot yeah so what we are going to do is this so we have our pot ready we have made our card for the people who have come late so we folded a card in half and then we've cut out the flower vase if you don't have colored paper please use white paper and use a sketch pen to make this designs you can do the designs later now cut out your things first okay good job now we have one pot now what does the pot need it needs some flowers right so what we'll do is we'll cut out a small circle we'll take a white paper right use something to me have take a cap here okay i have a cap and then i have traced a white a traced a circle or if you can draw a circle with your fingers or oh, white paper is difficult to show okay let me go back can you see the white circle there's a circle okay <laughs> it's not fast it's not fast don't worry i will repeat once again we are making a card we've cut out a small flower pot we're cutting out a small circle now in white paper okay so the cutting part you might need to take your parents help young children if you have elder brothers or sisters please take their help so we've cut out a circle we have a flower pot we have a base to put all our flowers here okay you can have it like this you can have it like this you can't see what can you not see a circle and a pot pot we have folded a paper in half we have taken our patang paper wrapping paper not patang paper wrapping paper or any pattern paper or a white sheet and then we have drawn this shape okay slanting and this so when you open it it turns into a pot okay so now we have our paper let's take glue stick and stick here like this okay right can you see this perfect no problem use whatever papers you have i've used a red paper you can use any other yellow paper if this if you don't have a wrapping paper like this or any design like this use a white paper okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my glue stick out and on the paper slightly bottom i'm going to stick it now everything that you see is mirror image so i will go ahead and stick it and then you can do it yourself too okay so i'm putting some glue on the back side of my vase you can use any magazine paper also if you have something nice design okay newspaper magazine for the pot you can use absolutely anything right 
So make sure you keep it straight and then place it right in the center of the curve. Okay, let me paste it and show you. So what I've done is I've pasted a flower pot. You can have just a circle as a flower pot also. Okay. There's nothing else in this, okay? So you have a paper that is a card. Open it. You've cut out a flower pot. Now we stick this white paper because this is a darker paper. If you're using a white paper uh, for the card, you don't need this white circle, okay? So because I'm using a red card or if you're using a blue card or a green card, what you need to do is you need to have this white base to stick your flowers on. So this, right? I've used a doily. If you don't have a doily, you can just cut out a circle like I have done. Hmm? Now I'm going to take some glue stick. You see the circle? I'm going to stick the circle on top of the flower pot. See here? Right on top. Okay. Okay. Done. Now comes the fun part. Now do you see the tiny, tiny flowers here? Now we're going to use all our paper scraps to good use. So when you have done all your crafting, don't throw away any of your colored papers because we can put it to use now. I'm going to pick up some red, yellow, pink, blue, whatever color ribbons you have. Okay. So while I do that, just it here. Okay. So you can see it. Now we have this card ready. I have put the boss. I have put a white circle. And on this, we are going to make... On this, we're going to stick our flowers. Now, how to make the flowers? So tear your crepe papers into this size, okay? Or a little bit smaller than this. If you have crepe paper, fine. If you don't have that, use tissue papers, right? Let me get a tissue paper. So if you don't have the colored paper, use a tissue paper. You need to tear it into one piece like this, okay? Now crumple it nicely. Crumple it. You get this, right? Now this part has to be stuck on top of this. So because white on white will not look good. So if you're using white tissue paper, just use a sketch pen to add some color to it. So you have your white tissue paper, add some color. Can you see some color now? See, look at that, use a sketch pen. So it looks like a beautiful flower, look at that. Can you see that? Does that look lovely? So now you have a pink flower. So same way, make some tiny, tiny pieces out of your tissue paper. If you have crepe paper, do it with the crepe paper. If you have your birthday ribbons, let's make a few with the birthday ribbons, tear it up. All you need is a small rectangle, torn one, crumple it, make sure it can, you know, fit in your finger, right? See the small piece? Can you look at it? Yep. So like this, if you make on paper and then use a sketch pen to color it. Okay, perfect. Yes. So once you've done that, once you've got your crumpled paper, right? How to make flowers? This is the first step. Take a tissue paper, tear it, crumple it. If it's white, paint it. If it's colored, you don't need to paint it. Add some paint. We have to make lots of flowers. So I will repeat this step again and again. So once we've made our flower, it's just a piece of crumpled paper, okay? At the bottom part, take a little bit of glue and then stick it in the middle. See? So we've added one flower here. So like this, let's make a few more flowers. Take any colored paper if you have, crumpled paper, crepe paper, ribbon paper, okay? Cut it and stick it. So we take any piece of paper, crumple it between two fingers, so it turns into a tiny ball, then use some glue at the bottom and stick it. See, I've stuck three different ones now. I've used a tissue paper with some sketch pen. I've used a patam paper here. I've used a crepe paper here, ribbons. Right? Use different, different colors. How about some yellow? Yeah. Let's tear up some yellow paper. I've just taken a rectangle. I'm going slow and I'm repeating a lot of times. So don't worry about it. Okay? You can always watch the replay. So we're just going to add a lot more flowers. Now I've added yellow. 
I hope you can see, right? So we are adding more colors like this. Shall we add blue? If you have colored paper, use that. Otherwise, use tissue paper, right? We've just turned it into a ball and then we have stuck it. See, I stuck blue color. Can you see that? It's pretty easy. Don't get worried about it. The more colorful, the better, right? So shall we try some orange? If you don't have this, use a sketch pen. Take a white tissue paper, crumple it, right? All you need to do is crumple it, turn it into a ball and stick that ball down. See, I stuck an orange now. Let's fill it up, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Who is with me? I made it small. Good, no problem. It'll become faster. I made it really big because I need to show it on the screen now. Okay? So just don't use green color because green will use it for the leaves. Add lots of pinks, lots of reds. Tear it into a smaller piece, tear it into a bigger piece, turn it into, crumple it into a small flower, put some, put some glue, stick it. See, look at that, already looking full. We'll add a few more. Shall we add a red color? Good job. Thank you for the thumbs up because I have no idea whether you guys are following or not. Thank you. I appreciate it. Isn't this fun? Tearing paper. I love to tear paper, you know. So we crumple it. Okay. So it looks a little 3D. Put a little glue. I forgot to put a glue. So put a little glue at the bottom. Use a glue stick. Stick it. See? I added one more red color. So this looks a little empty. Let's add a little bit of blue there. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. I love you guys. Let's add a little bit of blue. All I'm doing is tearing up paper. This is fun. Isn't it fun to tear paper and to stick paper and to turn into something very, 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 very beautiful. Right? So if you have some spaces in between, fill it up. Does it look full enough? Are these many flowers enough for your mama? What do you think? Shall we add one or two more? Which color shall we add? Mm, where are all my nice colors? I used red, I used orange, I used pink. What other color can we use? We'll add a little bit more yellow. Some more red. The fan is on everywhere, it's flying. Okay, if you have done this part, give me a thumbs up. Okay, our card is almost ready, right? So we have all the pretty, pretty flowers stuck in the middle. So when you touch it in, see, can you feel? Yeah, not able to see the flowers. This is of crumpled paper, okay? Not real flowers. I'm not cut them or anything. Hmm? Now, can you see this? This is the ready one. Can you see this? Yeah. I'm hiding behind. Pickle. Okay. So just what I've done is, it is for Mother's Day, yes. This one's Ulta. Happy Mother's Day, it says. Okay. Now, what is this missing? We have added some flowers here. Hi, Tia. We've added some flowers here. We need some leaves. So for the leaves, we are going to use some green color paper. You can use any green color paper. You can use patan paper. You can use the same ribbons, right? We're just going to cut out some leaves quickly. Lots and lots of leaves. Just fold it. Right. You can take some green color paper with a scissor or you can do it with your hand. You know, leaves also don't have to be perfect. Any shape is fine. So cut out leaf shapes like this. And now what? What we're going to do is we're going to color, we're going to paste it all around because the bouquet needs some leaves, right? To make it look real. So on. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. I just got a call. I don't know from whom. So we're going to stuck, we're going to stick leaves all around. Okay. So when you have take some light green, take some dark green, and then you can stick it all around. You can stick it all around like this. 
have to remove the crepe paper. Why do you have to remove the crepe paper? You don't have to remove any crepe paper. This is stuck on top. So just squeeze it in between, add lots of leaves, light green, dark green, cut out leaf shapes, and then fill it up around it. So I have only one leaf here, so I need to add a lot more leaves. So because I've already done a craft here, I'm just going to hold it for you, okay? Can you see it? Have you guys done this part? I'll leave this here, okay, I'll keep it here. I hope it stays so that you can see. And then I will repeat this. We used a plain sheet of paper. We folded it in half to make a card. This screen is inverted, so don't worry about it. So the card opens the correct way, right? So the card opens like this. And then we cut out, using pattern paper, we cut out a flower pot shape. It can be a rectangle also. If you cannot cut out a vase like this, it can be a circle also. The shape doesn't matter. Then what did we do? We took out all our paper scraps, ribbon paper, crepe paper, patang paper, tissue paper, whatever paper you have that can be crumpled into pieces like this. We have crumpled it, taken some glue, and stick it here, right? These become our flowers. Now, this step is to make some leaves. So we are making leaves. I just cut out some leaves from light green paper, take some glue, stick it around. Okay, you take some glue only at the edge and then, and then stick it. Okay, so stick it around your whole bouquet. Try to get the green paper as close as you can to the tissue papers. It's okay if it doesn't work out, you can remove it and stick it again, okay? It will hold on for some time. So I'm just adding some light green leaves like this. Are you done till here? I wish I could show you my table like I always do, but today some network issue is there. But we have a solution for every problem, right? We don't give up. Don't have colored paper, use tissue paper. Don't have um, crepe paper, let's use some other paper. Let's use a bird ribbon, right? We have a solution for every craft. And we do, right? So this is how it should turn out. All your flowers in between, all your leaves at the side. This becomes a nice bouquet in a flower pot. Now, your mother has to understand it's a Mother's Day card, right? So what you need to do, cut out a rectangle piece of paper, write Happy Mother's Day. I've written it already and it looks inverted. I have no solution for this, right? How did you make the leaves? Okay, so you take any paper like this, cut it out in the shape of a leaf. Just a long piece like this. That's a leaf. That's all. Easy? You're all my good bachas, no? You have a solution for everything. All the last crafts that you did, they were so amazing. You shared it on Instagram with me. You shared it on Facebook with me, right? Do that this time also, okay? Share it with the Pampers team. Share it with Urmi. Make sure you take lots of photos. Make a lot of cards like this. Give it to your mama. Take a picture when you're giving it to your mama, right? See, I've added some dark green leaves and some light green leaves. You can add few or you can add as many as you want. Yes? All my good butchers, you're all creative, creative, creative butchers. You know, artsy, cropsy kids you all are. Right? So we have our flowers, we have our leaves, we have our flower pot, and we have a nice paper that's wrapped around the flowers. And then all we need to do is make a card like this, say Happy Mother's Day, or say, Mama, I love you. Or you can say, Mama, today is your day. You can write anything. You can write Happy Mother's Day like I have done, right? There are a lot of things that I've written here already, but they're all ulta. I don't know how to show it to you. Everything says Happy Mother's Day. So you can use a pen. It's, I have no idea how to show this. If you reverse the screen, then you can. Okay, so it says Happy Mother's Day. I think this one's clearer. Happy Mother's Day. Okay. 
we have an inverted screen today. It's really funny. I'm finding it funny, right? So if I touch my right earring, you can see my left earring. How funny is that? Okay, so we have the outside of our card ready. Now for some magic. Are you ready? Our mama will be so happy to receive this card, correct? You can't rewind the live video, okay? So once your mama gets this card, there's a surprise inside. Let's make the surprise too. Everybody's ready? Everybody's done with this card? Shall I open it now? You can see it clearly. Can you see this Happy Mother's Day written? Okay, good. Okay, so now your mama has got this card. She's so happy. Oh, thank you, my baby. I love you, this card. You know? Then is the surprise. You ask her to open the card, mama. Open the card. Yes. When she opens the card, there's another bouquet inside. Can you see? Are you ready to make this pop-up garden? Yes. How does it look? Yes, my mother also would love this card, right? So the kids can make it for their grandparents. They can make it for their mother. They can make it for Teacher's Day when Teacher's Day comes, right? Your teacher also will love this. But now we're making it for Mother's Day because mothers are special. And we are going to make a card for her because she's working doubly hard because of the lockdown, right? So we have a surprise, Mama. Say this. Happy Mother's Day. Here's a bunch of... Is a flower garden for you. Pop up. Okay. So this is the card. The mama will say, oh, very nice. Thank you, beta. And when she opens, mama, open the card. She'll see this. Shall we make this? Are you ready? Yes. And then here, when she opens the card, you can write your message. I have left it blank right now. But you can write a small letter. You can put a white piece of paper. You can say, happy Mother's Day. Thank you for all you do. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. Or anything that you call your mother. What do you call your mother? at home? Amma? Mommy? Mama? Mother? You're excited about this? So our card is ready. So now we need to make the inside part. Okay? So we'll keep this to the side. Now what we need is some green paper. You can use any color paper again. Hmm? You want to take an A4 paper? Okay. Good job. So I am taking green color, but you can again take any paper. You can do this with white and then paint it green for the stock. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to fold it into three parts. Let's make it two parts. Okay. We don't need it this thick. I have a very thick paper. So you don't need to have an A4 sheet. If you have a smaller sheet also, it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it into three parts approximately okay make sure that you have now these three parts are not equal but that's okay so my two parts are equal so these two parts are what i'm going to use hmm? i'm going to cut this out i've started with an a4 sheet you don't need an a4 sheet any if you have an origami sheet use an origami sheet we need long rectangles okay we need long rectangles like this. I'm just cutting it into two rectangles of the same length and the same width. So I have two pieces of paper. If you don't have this long, you have smaller ones. It all depends on the card, okay? So the width of this is the height of this, right? So when you open the card this way, so when you open the card, you're making a fan now, right? So this will be the height of the uh, garden. Hmm? Oh, it's my birthday also tomorrow, you know. Hmm. But don't tell anybody, okay? Hmm. So what we have done, we have cut out two long strips uh, of green paper. Okay. So we'll. everybody knows how to make a fan, how to fold. It's called an accordion fold. Yeah. So this paper, let's start with this. So we are going to make... A fan fold. You know what's a fan fold or an accordion fold? One front, one back. You know how to do that like this? Do you know how to do that? Give me a thumbs up if you know how to make a fan fold. So when you do that, one front and then turn it, one back. One front, one back. One front, 
make sure you adjust the paper so they are of equal size so it become like this right right so it becomes like this okay everybody knows how to make a fan fold yep so we take one strip front fold back fold one fold in the front one fold in the back make sure that your width is the same so it will turn out like this right so keep folding till the end okay so we have folded here you can keep it on the table and do it but because i cannot show it i am not keeping it okay don't worry if it's a little cross that's okay okay so we have done one paper one rectangle paper fan fold like this perfect now because this will be too small it will not open up into a fan right we want it to be a bigger fan so what we are going to do you have two papers right the second paper we are going to stick what we are going to do on the inside make sure you put a little glue we're just going to make this paper a very long paper hmm okay and then you can stick this so this is our same size stick it inside right now you continue your fan fold again so front back front back front back front back so one fold in the front let me do it this way one fold in the front one fold in the back right one fold in the front one fold in the back one fold in the front now it doesn't have to be perfect so don't worry make sure fold 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 and you get this right can you see this yeah good job mm -hmm. so let's make this paper slightly longer i think i just did a little bit of mess here make sure you try to keep it as straight as you can because then this is how your garden will look so you don't want your garden to look a little wonky right fold 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 have you all folded this right now we'll open and see so you keep it like this and see oh yeah now we can see a fan right so this much length is enough what i'm going to do you can complete the whole length or you can cut it here right so now you see you've got a long strength long length of paper oh, this is stuck okay so we have a long piece of paper yes like this my glue is drying up it's not drying up let's wait for 2 minutes for it to dry up now i told you to get some tape right if you don't have tape use a piece of paper and glue it here so one end i'm going to take a little bit small piece okay not a very big piece of tape okay so we've taken a small piece of tape start at this end and close so we have both ends closed can you see this yeah one side here and one side here so i have put a tape only on one side so that when this opens up can you see this so when this opens up this opens up like a garden right everybody is done till here because this is an important part let me know i'll wait for a second here okay they're coming towards the end right so we've got this now what you need to do is you need to take some glue on one side right only on one side this is the opening side right hmm. okay now we have our mummy's card here ready you open it up put it in the center right and then press it only on one side see so i've kept touch the center to the center and put glue only on one side so this one opens like this right i'll wait for you because this is an important step you need your accordion fold you have cut out two long rectangles like this of the same length and the same width started folding like a fan right front back front back front back till the end if this becomes less then you go on sticking more paper to it okay and then what we have done we have used a tape fixed one end of it one end we have stuck it on the inside of the paper okay we are not sticking the other side i'll show you how to do that everybody is here 
Okay, so now our pop up is ready to pop up. So we have it like this our card opens, and the card opens. Now, this is only half, right? You have stuck one side only, only stick one side from the center. Okay, now what you need to do is I'll show you one second. I've taken glue, right? I've kept it flat here, which is a little difficult. So bear with me for a minute. Okay. And then when you fold the card, press it, press it, press it, press it. Right? Press it hard in the center. So when you open, you have your flower garden ready. But there are no flowers. Where are the flowers for our garden? Right? So let's add some flowers. I'll leave this here for you guys to complete while I'll show you how to make some flowers inside. Now you remember the white paper which I had cut out? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some flowers out of this. I'll show you an easy way to make. Okay. So take any square. Hmm? I'm just going to pay attention here. You can go back. I'll show that uh, accordion fold again. So take a square. Fold it into four right half and again half till you get a tiny square right now what you do is i will draw it with a pencil so that you can see it so you can see this yeah you can see this right it's not very clear but you can still see it so what i've done is i've drawn a heart right so we have the square Right, I've folded it in half, I've folded another half. Now I have this corner, which is a fold. These are the open sides. I've drawn a heart, right? So this heart starts from the side and ends at the side. So we cut that out. Take your mama's help if the kids are small. Mamas can cut, kids can stick. Younger than six years old will take a lot of time to cut. Uh, kids who are older than six, please use the scissors carefully. Hold it tightly in your hands. This Edge should be pointed away from your body. This hand should not be on your dress. This hand should not be on your face. It should definitely not be in your hair. Okay, hold it away from your body. Keep it on a table and cut it. So when you open it, we have made a tiny flower for our garden. See, how does it look? Right? So we took a square piece of paper, folded it, folded it, drew a heart, right? From here till here. So when you open it, it becomes a flower. How to make the vase? That was the first step. Okay, I will show you. But once again, recap at the end. So we have flowers like this. So add, if you have flower stickers at home, you can stick those also. But paper works out best. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick lots of flowers here. Now we'll decorate this, right? White flower doesn't really look good. So I will search for my sketch pen in my mess. So I have this. Make sure your center is yellow. How does this flower look? Looks nice as it is also. It looks like a daisy. But we would like to add one more color to it because I love a beautiful garden. This can turn into a beautiful Mother's Day card. You can make it into a birthday card. You can make it to a Teacher's Day card. Any card, okay? So we've cut out flowers like this. Put some glue at the back. We have our garden here. Right, so stick it here, okay? Stick it at the folds. Can you see that? Right, so make more flowers like this. Right, I've made lots of flowers and I've stuck them here. I've stuck them here. You can paint it with yellow and red, yellow and pink, yellow, blue, right? All of those. So when you fold them, even the flowers fold. So don't worry about it because you've stuck them here, right? So what do you think of this? Then write a message here for your mama. Happy Mother's Day or happy birthday or thank you mama for all that you do or mama, I love you, right? So let's quickly recap now. It's 5.39. We have five more minutes to go. So what we did was... We took any piece of paper, which will become a card, like a blue paper, like a red paper, like a pink paper, whatever paper you have. If you have white paper, then use white paper. Fold it in half to make a card, correct? So this becomes like an open, closed card. Now, next step, what we did was 
we cut out, we took some pattern paper, right? If you don't have wrapping paper, if you don't have a pattern paper, I'll show you how to do it. So what I've done, cut out one rectangle, any paper, okay? And then fold it in half, take a longer paper. This is gonna be a smaller wash, but depends on your card. So cut it like this, slant, and then from the top, Cut it here, okay? So when you open it, it becomes a wasp, right? Somebody asked how to make the vase. This is a flower pot, easy? Yes, now because many of you did not have wrapping paper, you know how easy it is to color a vase, right? Add some lines, colored lines, add more colors because the white paper gets a little messy with the color, okay? So here is our card. Okay, let me know how you like it. Be sure to take a lot of pictures. You can ping me anytime if you have doubts how to make this. Come check out the blog for more ideas. Be sure to take a lot of photos, share it with Urmi, share it with Pampers India team, tag me on Instagram, tag them on Instagram, share it with us, right? On Facebook, show it to your friends and definitely give this card to your mama and take a photo with your mama. Okay, you guys didn't tell me what you call your mama. Do you call her mama? Do you call her mom? Do you call her mommy? What do you call her? Tell me in the comments right now. We have five more minutes, right? Quickly recap. So we cut out a white circle. We cut out a wasp. We made some crumpled paper flowers. We added some leaves. And then a lovely message saying, Happy Mother's Day. And then you give this card. But before you do that, we have to have a surprise. Yes, mama, mama, yes. Amma, I call my mother I because we speak Marathi, no? That's why. Hmm. My daughter calls me mommy, 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 mommy. Like that. Yeah. Mom, good. And then, ha, surprise. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks a bunch. Thank you for helping me grow. Happy Mother's Day. Amma, I love you. Write all your messages here. Make sure she loves the surprise. Take a picture like this. Hold the card like this. Take a picture like this. If you don't want to show your face, hide behind the picture. Take a picture. Give me a smile if you would like your picture to be shown. Share all your crafts with us. Share it with the Pampers India team. Share it with Urbi. I don't know. There are a lot of people from the team who have brought, who have called me here today to show you, to teach you a lovely craft. I hope you enjoyed today, right? Oh, I like that. Nice. Mama, mommy, mom, mama, mama, amma, ma. Yes, I know. I know. I've heard that one. Ah, come quick. Mm. You had fun? Yes. So make this card. Now this technique, you know, uh, you can make it for your teacher. You can say happy teacher's day. Thank you for helping me grow. You know, you can put that message inside. Or teacher, you are my favorite because. Or write. Five good things about your mom. Mama, I love you because you make the best parathas in the world. Mama, I love your hugs. Mama, I love your good night kiss. Tell lots of nice things to your mama. You know, all mamas love to hear that. So use this opportunity. Mother's Day is on 8th. Go sh sh make a card for your mama like this. Gift it to her. Uh, give her lots of kisses. You know, she's working doubly hard now because of the lockdown, right? And you kids are such sweet kids, right? So keep calling me for more crafts like this and keep making more crafts. Be sure to share your pictures with me. Okay? Oh, thank you so much, Mansi. I love your encouraging comments. Real fun. Good job. Thank you so much. So let's quickly go over it one more time. So how many things did we do? We folded a card. We put a white paper. We made some crumpled paper uh, flowers. Then add some leaves. Add a wash. Then add your tag. Happy Mother's Day. Then when you open it, you make a fan using two long rectangles. And then you make some flowers. If you cannot make your own flowers, then use stickers if you have stickers at home. Add some star stickers if you have, or make some flowers, cut out some flowers, draw and cut out, color them nicely. If you have colored paper, make colored paper. Mm -hmm. And then stick it to this. 
but be sure to write a message this is a blank card okay so you have to write a message now so write your message and uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures for oh, your toddler also make it happy mothers day to all the moms on this list thank you for being so creative and thank you for encouraging your kids to be creative uh that's the best gift that you guys can give me to right and keep inviting me here thank you so much from the uh to the pampers team to the toying team to everybody who made this craft session a possibility hmm make sure to send your greeting cards to i connect or share it with fatima or sanika yes very very important take lots of pictures how to take a picture one second i'm getting a phone call okay so hold your card like this give a smile and get a picture or if you hide like this and take a picture right 5:45 and it's the end of our session today so have fun lot of you somebody's mom's birthday was there happy birthday happy mothers day to all the kids thank you for being so supportive and so creative and fun to have around bye bye i'm logging off